Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in WordPress in just a matter of minutes. I'm going to be using a free builder and a free theme to create this page. So if you're interested in doing that, let's dive into that now. All right, so before we dive into creating this landing page, I just wanted to go over that you're going to need WordPress hosting for this and have WordPress installed. And I just wanted to recommend Green Geeks here. This is the hosting that I use for my websites. And you can get hosting through wpwithtom.com slash greengeeks if you're interested. So if you want to see a quick walkthrough on how to sign up for hosting with Green Geeks and how to actually install WordPress, I'll have a pop-up card in the upper right corner that you can click on and view a quick video on that. So with that out of the way, let's dive into how to create a landing page now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually X out of here and I'm gonna be in the dashboard of WordPress once we have it installed on our site. So from here, I'm gonna go down to appearance themes and I should just first show you that this is the theme that we have in place and this is what our website looks like right now for wpfundamentals.com, just a blank website with the 2020 theme installed. So I'm going to click add new and I'm going to look for the theme called Astra and it's going to be this one right here. I'll click install and from here I'll just click activate and now we can actually click on this one and delete the 2020 theme if we'd like and now we're just left with the Astra theme right here. So there's a plugin that we can add called Astra starter site. So if we just type that in here. It's going to bring up this plugin right here and we're just going to click install again and activate. And now we have Astra starter sites activated on our site. So if we go to C library, we can then choose our builder. I'm going to use Elementor in this case and I'll just click next. And from here, I'm going to search over for free because we want to use a free one to keep our cost down here. And here I'm going to look for one called product landing page. And here it is right here. And you can preview it if you'd like and see what it looks like, but we can easily edit it as well. So if you're happy with the look, you can just click import site right here. And it says it will take anywhere between two to 10 minutes. Usually it goes quicker from my experience, but we're going to see how quick it goes this time. I'm going to just pause the video briefly while it loads this content. All right. And that was actually very quick. I probably didn't even have to pause the video. It was only 20 seconds to actually successfully load it. So here's what our site looked like initially. And now if we click view site, now our site looks like this. It's really that easy to get started with setting up a landing page. And now we can actually go and click edit with Elementor right here in the top. I'm going to X out of this one since we no longer have a site that even looks like that. And I'm just going to click got it. And now we can start editing the site as needed with this free builder and free theme installed for this product landing page. So to make some changes, let's first just go over some of the things within Elementor. So it's a drag and drop builder and you can easily just drag things and drop them in from over on the left. You can easily delete sections. So let's just say I wanted to delete this whole section. I can. And then if you didn't like that deletion, you can go down here to history. And then you can change it back and we'll put it back in there. So you can redo things or undo things as you go through. I'm going to delete it again. I'm going to delete that whole section out of here. And now we're just left with these on the site. If you want to, you can easily delete other things as well. You can edit text right here. So let's just say like this is the best product on the market. And you could add that in. You can change images very easily just by clicking on the image and then uploading new images. You can go to the media library to see what is already on the site with the default template that was uploaded as well if you want to change them there. So it's very easy to make some edits on a product landing page with Elementor. So let's say you wanted to add a different title here. You can add something like in this example, let's say we're selling a course. So I'll just name this ultimate Facebook ads course. And here I'll just title this and make it say, learn how to maximize your Facebook ad revenue. We can also just delete that to make it go up a little bit. Now on here, if we click on this, we're actually going to be able to see that it says 
nothing in the link section right here. It says download now. And maybe you want to change that to like enroll now in a course. And you can change the link to go to your course page where it would be the product that you want them to buy for this example. So you can also go into where it says style and change the button color. So let's just say you didn't like that color. You can maybe make it blue or maybe a brighter blue like that. I'm going to go and actually change the whole color of the site here. So I'm going to right click edit section at the top, go to style and right here it has this purple color. I'm going to make it more of a blue as well, maybe a little bit more blue. And then in this second color over here, since it goes into a second color where it fades, I'm going to also make that a little more blue as well. So you can change this and play with it and get something that you really like. So this isn't a good example because you can see the button kind of blends in until you hover over it. So maybe it would be better to change the color of that. If we right click edit button, then we can see where it says the button color. We can change that to be something different and you can just play with it and find out what works well for you. Now, if you do hover over it, you want to see the color change a little bit. So maybe I would have it be a little bit more like this and then they hover over it and it goes up even a different color like red. Anyway, you want to see it change the color and hop up when you go over it. So you can see it right here, once you hover over it, it looks pretty good. At least it's good enough. So maybe it would have been better leaving that the same, but I want to show you how to edit these things. Again, down here, if you want to, you can edit this image. You can right click, edit image. In this case, it has a transparent background. And if you have an image that you want to remove the background from, you should go over to remove.bg and you usually can just hop in there and upload the image and then have the transparent background just as this one is. Just a little tip there if that's something you want to do. You can always delete this section as well. Again, you can edit this text just like I said and you can put different headings, change the heading size if you want right in here. Right now it says heading three. You can change it to be a heading two so it's a little larger. You can make all of these edits in a matter of minutes when you're looking at your product. Now for your product landing page, you're probably going to want something that is describing what's going on with the product and you can just change this text again, maybe put a different image in here and remove the background just as I showed with this one with the remove BG. So it's really easy to set this up. Again, you can edit the text, change these images. It's really just a matter of right clicking, editing the image, editing the text right in there. And then again, you can put a new link down here if you want to edit the button and you can link it to a specific page that you want someone to order from. So one last thing that I wanted to point out before I wrap this up is right now you don't see a menu at the top, but if we were to actually go right here, you can update it right here, which will make all the changes go into effect if you haven't done that along the way. From here, I'm just going to go and click view page and then we'll be able to see what the page looks like. And right now we still have our logo at the top. We have this menu and we have this download button. If you don't want any of that to show, what you can do is go to where it says customize over here. And once this loads, we're going to be able to edit that area right here. So right here at the top, we have this rocket web logo that came with this. I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to click remove and I'll click remove. If you want to add a logo, that's where you'd add it right here within header site identity in the customization section. If you want to remove this download button, for example, you can click over on this one right here and you can then hide the last item in your menu and go to none for the last item as well. So you can also just click disable menu right here to get rid of that and then click publish to update it. And that will be what our final site would look like without the menu on it. So if you just go and click X right here, we can see what it looks like. And again, you can edit all of this text very easily. You can edit the colors of the site and just save it as needed and go through this step by step and just make changes depending on what you're trying to have for your product landing page. This could be something that you use to get people to sign up for, to drive to your website, to drive to a course as I'm showing here in this example, but you can use it for so many different things. And I really hope that this was just helpful on showing you how to create a landing page in WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more WordPress related content. I really appreciate you taking the time to view this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.